we've known certainly that electromagnetic fields have affected trees. Uh, we've gone on uh, the, the studies in Spain by uh, Dr. Alphonse Balmori in the, in, the last in the last few decades, where he's been looking at the effect on storks or on house sparrows, you know, these, these birds that enjoy sharing their, the urban environment with us and have been perfectly capable of doing that over centuries and eons are now showing great declines in the number of bird species. There's even studies on the migration of birds that show that birds have a naturally occurring, as all life does, a, amount of magnetite that allows them to sort of follow the ley lines of the earth, the geomagnetic field of the earth is how they migrate over great distances. And that these unnatural fields are in fact deflecting them off of their migratory patterns, their migratory routes, and in some cases drawing them right into the towers uh, where, which leads, in many cases, to bird strikes and bird deaths when they hit the guy wires of the very large telecommunications towers. Um, frogs, recent studies uh, done by Alphonse Balmori in Valladolid, Spain, where he put Faraday cages over one tank of tadpoles, or eggs, in this case frog eggs, within 140 meters of an antenna and then left the other tank with the frog eggs out fully exposed to electromagnetic fields. And as the eggs hatched, he watched the development of the tadpoles and the ones that were protected by the Faraday cage showed completely normal development. The ones that were out in the open exposed to electromagnetic fields showed poor form development. Some actually outright died and others just never really got up to the, the actual energy and speed that the other tadpoles developed.